Hey everyone, Rubber Brothers here. It's a little early in the morning, so I don't want to be too loud. That's kind of why I'm whispering a little bit. But today I wanted to talk about light bulbs. Now I know uh, some of you may say, you know, what's what's that got to do with prepping? And I guess it's, uh, I guess that's your preference or your, what your goal is uh, when you prep. But uh, uh, light is a very important thing uh, when you when you prep. So I wanted to kind of just do a uh, short little video on these uh, LED bulbs and kind of talk about them for a little bit, do a little unboxing on there. Um, so these uh, these bulbs, they have uh, 800 lumens, so that's the brightness of them. Uh, got the energy cost at uh, 108. The focus is a little bit on this, but there. Yeah, they only use uh, 9 watts on there. Uh, so when you're thinking about, you know, prepping and thinking about or even everyday life, um, as far as the cost goes, you're going to have to use these bulbs for about maybe three years to get your money back. Um, these cost uh, about two bucks a bulb when that was on sale. I asked a buddy of mine to pick them up for me. So he happened to work at a place that, that sold these, and I said, hey, you know, when they go on sale, let me know and grab me a couple. Uh, so... You're, you're also thinking like, well, what if you're in an off-grid situation, you know, maybe you're using solar panels or something like that, and uh, you won't have that much power output to do what you need to do, so this might be a good option for you. Um, I also kind of uh, put these other bulbs in here, so these are the, um, the fluorescent ones, and uh, another good option... So these are both uh, 60 watts. This one has uh, 900 lumens in there. And then this other one here, 825. Um, but I want to kind of get off the fluorescent ones because they do contain uh, a little bit of mer mercury in them. And uh, it's not that hard to recycle them or anything, but you do need to go to a store that will do that for you. You can't just throw them in the in the trash or your recycle bin. Obviously, they'll break and, you know, Mercury is a poison. Uh, that's what I have in this light right now. So what I'm going to do is actually take this out and swap it in there. So you can kind of see the light uh, difference if there is any. Probably not too much because these are supposed to be actually a little bit brighter than these. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that right now. bulb almost. Focus. We'll put that in there. I gotta put this down for a little bit. Alright, so I replaced the, uh, the fluorescent with one of these LEDs. So, don't see too much of a difference really. Now I'm gonna do a little uh, little experiment, so stay tuned for that. All right, and uh, I'm back. Uh, I want to try a little experiment here uh, with the LED bulb. Um, so what I have here is um, I got my uh, I got a 12 volt battery, and that's hooked up to an inverter, and then that will plug in uh, the lamp with the uh, LED bulb, and uh, how I have this set up usually is I have my 12 volt battery outside and then I have this coming through the wall and then if I have anything hooked up to it, usually I don't. Uh, it's just as a, as a backup I have it. Oh, and first I have the, um, the solar trickle panel. Uh, it's not going to overload the battery or anything like that. Um, so. That's why I use that, and I've had this out there the whole winter. I have it hooked up all the time, and it's it stays constant. It's not going to overload it, and so I'll show you right now. We've got the multimeter hooked up, so switch that over to voltage, DC voltage, and you can't see there. So you got 12.46 volts, so you're good. You're you're all charged up. 
good voltage right there. So we'll keep that on there as I as I turn on uh, the inverter and turn on the light, and we'll see where we're at. So we'll just see if uh, what kind of uh, draw this will have, and uh, I'm not gonna keep it on for a long time or anything because it probably will. I don't have the solar panel hooked up, but you can see how the inverter is hooked up. We got a couple, obviously negative, a couple alligator clips, and that hooks up to the inverter. So let's give it a let's give it a try here. So it's kind of a nice little inverter. You know, you've got a place for a USB cable here, and then a, two outlets. So that's where I got the the lamp hooked up. So I'll turn it on. So you can hear it running. The light turns on. So that's a good sign. Right, so let's now test it out, see what happens. And there you go. It lights. Let's check the voltage here. So yeah, it dropped a little bit, you can see. It is dropping, so without without having some kind of charge going to the battery, it, it's not going to last you that long. So it's dropping pretty good. So, and then we'll, we'll shut off the light here and then see if it go back up at all. And it did, so jump back up. The inverter's still on. You can still hear it running. Actually going back, it's going up. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, I want to show you that. Uh, you know, so it's just not a light bulb video. So hopefully you stuck around and were able to see this. So it's just a nice little setup. Uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe to us. We're looking to get, uh, you know, that's our goal is 100 subscribers. So if you like our video, just uh, hit the subscribe, subscribe button. And, uh, thanks again.